Hi kids, in this video we are going to solve sums from theorems on area class 9 ML Agarwal exercise 14. Now I have explained all the theorem in my previous video. You can click on the i button and get the link. Before doing the sums, we should know all the theorems properly. Now look at the first one. Prove that the line segment joining the midpoints of a pair of opposite sides of a parallelogram divides it into two equal parallelograms, which means you have a parallelogram A, B, C, D, where AB is parallel to DC and AD is parallel to BC. We need to prove that if you take one pair of opposite parallel lines, you join the midpoint. Suppose E is the midpoint of AB and F is the midpoint of DC. When you join it, you get two equal parallelograms. Equal parallelograms means parallelogram having the same area. First of all, I need to prove that A, E, F, D and E, B, C, F is a parallelogram. That is very easy. Look over here. First of all, D, C is equal to A, B, opposite sides of a parallelogram. E is the midpoint, which means A, E is half of A, B and E, B is half of A, B, isn't it? Again, F is the midpoint. So, D, F is half of D, C and F, C is half of D, C again because F is the midpoint of D, C. Now, A, B and D, C are equal which means I can write that A, E equals to half of D, C also half of D, C. Similarly, E, B equals to half of Instead of AB, I am writing DC. And half of DC is nothing but DF and FC. Which means all the sides. AE will be equal to EB, will be equal to DF, will be equal to FC. Which means this, 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 this. Are same. Now look carefully. In AEFD. In AEFD. AE is equal to df no doubt isn't it a equals to half dc and df equals to half dc so they are equal and they are parallel also given a e is parallel to df because a b was parallel to dc a e is a part of a b and df is a part of dc so a e has to be parallel to df isn't it and in a quadrilateral a one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel which means A, E, F, D is a parallelogram no doubt in that done similarly in this you know figure in E, B, C, F again same logic E, B is equal to F, C and E, B is parallel to F, C yes or no which is by these two points, we can say that EBCF is a parallelogram. So, we just now proved that these two figures are parallelogram. Now, they told us to prove they are equal parallelograms, which means the area is also seen. Now, look over here. From A, drop a perpendicular on AB. Okay? Suppose DM, which is H. Okay. Now, for parallelogram A, E, F, D, A, E, F, D, area is base into height done over here. For E, B, C, F, same, area equals to base E, B into height. Now, since dm is the height, that's the perpendicular distance between these two parallel lines. So it remains the same. So if I draw a perpendicular over here also, that will be also h, isn't it? h. Now ae and eb, ae and eb are same. Because e is the midpoint. 
so I can write instead of EB I can write AE into H look carefully area of EBCF and area of AEFD are same so they become equal parallelograms isn't it so we first prove that they are parallelogram we have done this in rectilinear figures you know and then we saw that the areas are same which means they are equal parallelograms done Chal. we'll do number 2 now now look at number 2 prove that the diagonals of a parallelogram divide it into four triangles of equal area which means suppose you have a parallelogram a b c d and the diagonals a c and b d suppose intersect at o then we need to prove that area of these four triangles are equal now look over here we need to prove that required to prove what is required to prove that is area of triangle a o b is equal to area of triangle b o c is equal to area of triangle c o d is equal to area of triangle a o d we need to prove this now look in a parallelogram we know that the diagonal bisect each other which means d o and BO is same, AO and OC is same, yes or no? This is a property, we know this. Now look over here. In triangle ACD, in triangle ACD, AO and OC is same, which means DO is the median. DO is the median, and I have told you in the previous lesson that the median divides the triangle into Two triangles of equal area, which means area of AOD is equal to area of DOC. Why? Because the median divides the triangle into two equal triangles, which means the areas are equal. One. Number two. In the same fashion, if you look carefully, ABD. B O and O D is same, which means A O is the median in triangle A B D. A B D. A O is the median. A O is the median, which means area of A O B. Area of A O B will be equal to area of A O D. Area of A O D. Very simple. Yes or no? Now, similarly, I'll take this triangle A B C. In triangle A B C. Look over here. B O is the median. B O is the median. Because A O and O C is same. So if B O is the median, then the area of this triangle and this triangle will be same. So area of A O B is equal to area of B O C. No doubt. One more triangle. B D C. The last one. In triangle B D C. If you look carefully, same thing. C O is the median. C O is the Median because BO and OD are same, which means area of BOC and area of COD will be same. Area of BOC is equal to area of COD. Yes or no? The median divides a triangle into two equal triangles. Now, suppose this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. And this is 4. Now look over here. First we got area of AOD and area of DOC is same. So suppose the area is x unit square over here x unit square. Again we got number 2 area of AOB and area of AOD is same. So since the, this was x unit square this will be also x unit square. Similarly in the last one we got area of A sorry BOC and area of COD is same. So if this is x, this is also x unit square. 
which means all the areas are same. So from 1, 2, 3 and 4, we come to the conclusion that area of triangle AOB is equal to area of triangle BOC is equal to area of triangle COD is equal to area of triangle AOD which means the diagonal you know divides the entire parallelogram into four triangles having equal area we have used this theorem that the median divides the triangle into two equal triangles having equal area done sure we'll do the next one number three now look at three party in the figure given a d is the median of triangle abc and p is any point on a d Prove that area of triangle PBD is equal to area of triangle PDC and area of triangle ABP is equal to area of triangle ACP. Now look over here properly. AD is the median which means AD divides BC into two equal half. Now P is a point on AD which means PD. Look carefully. PD is the median if you talk about triangle PBC in triangle PBC, yes or no? Because BD and DC are same. So if you consider PBC, this triangle, then PD becomes a median. Now, the median divides the triangle into two equal triangles, which means in triangle PBC, I can say area of P, P, D, P, B, D is equal to area of triangle P, D, C, P, D, C. Why? Because median divides a triangle into two equal triangles. Equal triangles means having equal area. Yes or no? Then the first part is done. Second part. Let us see what they have told. Area of triangle ABP. ABP. And area of triangle ACP. ACP. ACP is same. Very easy. Look at the triangle ABC. Triangle ABC. AD is the median. Which means area of ABD. ABD will be equal to area of triangle ACD, no doubt. Why? Because AD is the median. AD is the median. Clear? Now look carefully. ABD. This figure I can divide into two parts. Area of ABP. Area of ABP plus area of PBD area of PBD look carefully if you add this and this you get the entire thing is equal to again area of triangle ACD divided into two parts this and this so this part is ACP that's area of ACP plus area of area of this this figure this and this this is what PDC PDC done now area of PDC and PBD are same so they cancel out so what remains remains area of triangle ABP is equal to area of triangle ACP and this is what they told us to prove we have just used one theorem so the median divides the triangle into two equal triangles having equal area. Done. Let us do number three part B. Now look at number three part B. In the figure, DE is parallel to BC. They have given. Prove that area of triangle ACD is equal to area of triangle ABE. And area of triangle OBD is equal to area of triangle OCE. Now look carefully. 
what i'll do you see this portion b c e d which is a trapezium i'll take out that okay uh, over here i'm getting just look carefully something like this b c d e now b e is parallel to b c now with d c d e as a base i'm drawing a triangle b b e and with d e as a base i'm drawing another triangle d c e which means triangle d e b and d e c has the same base d e now remember the theorem which we have done in the previous class area of two triangles or triangles having the same base and between the same parallels or parallel line have equal area what do i mean see area of triangle deb deb will be equal to area of triangle dec that's the theorem triangles with same base and between same parallel lines have equal area that theorem we have used remember these two are parallel lines suppose this is ab with ab as a base you draw abc again with ab as a base suppose you draw abd then area of abd and area of abc will be same having the same base and between the same parallels ab is parallel to dc this was the theorem so same logic we have applied you know now look carefully now in this what i'll do i'll add area of this region on both the side i can do that so just look area of triangle deb plus area of triangle area of triangle ade ade again equal to on both side area of triangle b sorry d e c plus area of triangle a d e now when i add this to both side i get this triangle a d e and d e b gives you this triangle too yes or no which is triangle a b so these two added gives you area of triangle abe look carefully and dec added to ade gives you acd acd is equal to area of triangle acd and this is what we were supposed to prove in the first part done we use this theorem that triangles with same base and between same parallels have equal area number 2 this portion area of obd obd this region and area of oce this region are same very easy take this take this only so we have area of triangle deb is equal to area of triangle dec now what i'll do i'll subtract this region this region you are seeing this common region doe i can subtract from both i can so area of triangle deb minus area of triangle doe doe is equal to area of triangle dec minus area of triangle doe what i have done i have subtracted this portion from both side So what remains? This minus this remaining is OBD. Yeah, OBD. So this is area of triangle OBD, and this side area of triangle OCE. Area of triangle OCE. This is what we were supposed to prove. We use one theorem, okay, and then the rest was addition and subtraction of the common area. Done. Now let us do number four. Now look at four a. In the figure given, A B C D is a parallelogram and P is 
any point in BC, prove that area of ABP, area of ABP, this portion, you know, this region, and area of DPC, this region, okay, when you add these two, you get area of APD. Now, when you add these two shaded region, you get this thing. Let us see how. First of all, remember this theorem. If you have a parallelogram, you know, and with the same base, with the same base, if I draw a triangle and between the same parallels, suppose ABE, then area of ABE is half the area of ABCD. That's the theorem we have done. Similarly, look over here, ABCD with AD as a base, APD, we have drawn a triangle and this area of triangle APD, according to the theorem, area of triangle APD will be half area of parallelogram ABCD, isn't it? The area of a triangle, you know, will be half the area of the parallelogram, providing the base is same or equal, and they are between the same parallels. That's the theorem. Okay, you can write the theorem over here. Theorem. Okay. Now look carefully. Ah, uh, this two goes over here. So can I write twice of area of triangle APD? is equal to area of parallelogram ABCD. Now look carefully, twice of area of triangle APD is equal to, now area of parallelogram ABCD, I can divide into three parts, area of triangle APD plus area of triangle ABP, ABP plus area of triangle DPC. Look carefully. If you add these three regions, you get the entire parallelogram. Now, this is twice of area of triangle APD. This is area of triangle APD on this side. So, bring it on this side. So, twice of area of triangle APD minus area of triangle APD is equal to area of triangle ABP plus area of triangle DPC 2 minus 1 will be area of triangle APD is equal to area of triangle ABP plus area of triangle DPC and this is what we were supposed to prove A B P plus D P C is equal to A P D. You have just used the theorem that if you have a triangle and a parallelogram and the base is equal or same, you know, and they are between the same parallels, then the area of the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram. I told you we have done all the theorems in the previous lesson. Go through it. Try to understand all the theorem. Then only you will be able to understand these sums. Done. Now let us look at 4B. Now look at 4 part B. In the figure given, O is any point inside the parallelogram ABCD. Prove that area of OAB plus OCD gives you half the area of parallelogram ABCD. And prove that area of triangle OBC plus area of OAD gives you half the area of parallelogram ABCD. Very easy. First, look at the first part. What I will do, I will draw a line EF parallel to OB and passing through O, parallel to AB, sorry, parallel to AB and passing through O. So I am drawing a line like this, just look over here. This is EF. What I have done, draw a line EF parallel to AB. Now, since EF is parallel to AB, EF is parallel to DC also because AB and DC are parallel. So, EF is parallel to DC also. Yeah. Now, look carefully. Just now we did. If you have a triangle 
whose base and parallelogram's base is same and they are between the same parallel line the area of the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram look at a b f e in a b f e first of all a b f e is a parallelogram why because a e and b f are parallel a e is parallel to b f and by construction a b is parallel to e f a e is parallel to b f and a b is parallel to e f which is combining these two we can say that a b f e is a parallelogram now look carefully in parallelogram a b f e area of triangle a b o will be half area of parallelogram a b f e yes or no having same base and between same parallels you know parallel line area of the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram we have done the proving in the previous video you can check it out okay now here okay write the theorem over here in short that a triangle with the same base as the parallelogram and between the same parallel lines then area of the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram okay now look carefully abo similarly if you look at defc i'm talking about in defc again defc is a parallelogram why ef is parallel to dc and de is parallel to cf so that is also a parallelogram over there also if you see if you take dc as the base the area of doc just look carefully area of triangle doc is half area of parallelogram d e f c area of a triangle is half the area of a parallelogram provided the base is same and they are between the same parallels or same parallel line okay now look carefully this must be one this is from the theorem only this is my one and this is my two what if i join these two add these two sorry not join add these two so if you add these two you getting area of triangle abo now abo can i write oab yeah definitely i can write plus area of doc area of doc i can write ocd no doubt in that is equal to half area of parallelogram abfe plus half area of parallelogram parallelogram defc now look over here half taken common what is left area of parallelogram area of abfe plus area of defc is left isn't it and if you look carefully abfe and defc if you add you get the entire parallelogram which means this is equal to half area of parallelogram abcd isn't it this is what they told us to prove area of triangle oab plus ocd equals to half area of parallelogram abcd then we used the theorem that the area of the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram provided the base is same or equal or and they are between the same parallel lines okay this was number 1 part 2 area of obc obc plus oad is half the area of the parallelogram abcd same logic what do you do suppose i rub this one now i'll just from o i draw a line suppose h i h i which is passing through o and parallel to ad and bc then same logic area of a o d will be half of a i h d 
same theorem then area of o b c is half of i b c h when you add it like this you will get this one you can try this on your own same logic replica you can say now let us do number 5 now let us look at number 5 if e f g h are the midpoints of a b b c c d and d a respectively respectively of a parallelogram a b c d prove that the area of the quadrilateral e f g h is half area of parallelogram a b c d first draw the figure first thing you have a parallelogram a b c d opposite sides are equal and parallel this is e is the midpoint of a b f is the midpoint of b c g is the midpoint of c d and h is the midpoint of a b these are midpoint which means a e e b same b f f c same c g g d same like this okay required to prove required to prove is area of quadrilateral e f g h e f g h is join them area of quadrilateral e f g h is half area of <coughs> parallelogram a b c d that very simple look over here what i do first thing i join g e okay join g e now if you look carefully <coughs> first of all ab is equal to dc no doubt in that ab equals to dc now ab ae and eb is same this and this is same dg and gc is same which indirectly means ae and dg will be same the yes sono they will be same now if they are same and they are parallel also so remember what we did in rectilinear figures if in a quadrilateral an opposite pair of lines are equal and parallel a e is parallel to dg then that quadrilateral becomes a parallelogram which means a e g d a e g b is a parallelogram very simple yes or no similarly e b c g is also a parallelogram e b c g is a parallelogram same reason look over here e b is equal to g c and e b is parallel to g c so in a quadrilateral if one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel then it is a parallelogram rectilinear figure we have done now just look over here again area of a triangle is half the area of the parallelogram having the same base and between the same parallels i'm talking about a e g d look over there can i write area of triangle h e g h e g is half area of parallelogram a e g d a e g d write the theorem over here in short okay area of a triangle is half the area of a parallelogram having same or equal base and between the same parallels okay now similarly over here area of e f g area of triangle e f g is half area of parallelogram e b c g e b c g same theorem isn't it same theorem in bracket theorem you write the theorem in short okay i've explained all the theorem in the previous video please check out that now if you add these two just add it so you get area of triangle h e g plus area of triangle e f g is equal to half area of a e g d plus half area of e b c g 
Now look carefully. If you add these two, this and this, if you add, you get that quadrilateral E F G H. So area of E F G H is equal to half taken common area of A E G D plus area of E B C G. Now area of A E G D, A E G D, and area of E B C G. If you add them, you get the parallelogram, which is half area of parallelogram A B C D. Isn't it? So area of E F G H will be half area of parallelogram A B C D. This is what was required to be proved. Done. One theorem that area of the triangle is half the area of the parallelogram, provided the base is same or equal, and they are between the same parallels. Or same parallel line. Done that theorem and you add it. Chalo. In this video, we'll keep it till here. In the next video, we'll see the rest of the sum. Till then, take care and be safe. And if you like the video, do subscribe, share.